Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will determine whether each of the system with impulse response or output listed below is causal or not, stable or not. Okay. So let's start with the first question where impulse response h of n is given as 3 to the power n into u of minus n. So I would like to, you know, go through few of the topics that we have already covered. So you will understand this concepts better. Okay. This example better. So basically let's analyze u of minus n first. So u of minus n is what one when n is smaller than equal to zero. Fine. And it is zero when n is greater than zero. Hope it is clear to you. Fine. And one more thing that we have already covered is a LTI system is causal only if the impulse response is 0 for n is smaller than 0 means h of n is equal to 0 for n is smaller than 0 then we can say that a system is what causal but if you see here this u of minus n so u of minus n basically exists for it exists for n greater than minus infinity to smaller than equal to zero. Hence, hence what? Hence h of n is not equal to zero for n is equal to zero, right? In this scenario. So the system is what? So the system is non-causal, non-causal. Fine. Hope it is clear to you. Okay. And you should always, you should also aware about this uh, formula, which is infinite geometric series sum formula, where summation of c to the power n, where the limit of n ranges from 0 to infinity is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus c if mod of c is greater than 0 and is smaller than 1. Fine. So you should also aware about this formula because we are going to use this formula and aware about this point also to check the causality of a system. Fine. Now let's move further and check the stability. So for stability summation absolute value of h of n where the limit of n ranges from minus infinity to plus infinity should be smaller than infinity right so let's calculate this so summation n is equal to minus infinity to what plus infinity and in the place of h of n you have to keep what 3 to the power n into u of minus n okay and we already know the behavior of u of minus n it only exists for n is smaller than equal to 0 right so you can change the limit so it will become summation n is equal to minus infinity to 0 only for this period this exists right u of minus n and the value of u of minus n is what 1 so you can write it as 3 to the power n now i want to i want to reverse the limit so now i want this from 0 to infinity Currently it is from minus infinity to zero. So I want from zero to infinity to apply this formula. So what we have to do? We have to change the sign of n also. So three to the power minus n now. Fine, it will become three to the power minus n. Now this is equal to what? Summation n is equal to zero to infinity, one by three to the whole power n, right? So basically if you see this, you can apply this formula here. So C is what 1 by 3 which lies between 0 and 1. So you can apply this formula so it will become 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by 3. Okay. So this will give you what 3 by 2 which is basically smaller than infinity. If it is smaller than infinity, so you can say what that your system, your system is what a stable system. Fine. So here we got to know like system is non-causal but stable. 
clear let's move to the next example so here h of n is given as cos n pi by 2 if you see the behavior of this cos n pi by 2 it exists for it exists for what n greater than minus infinity to n smaller than infinity so in this case also h of n is what not equal to 0 for n smaller than 0 so we can say system is what system is non-causal hope this is clear to you fine okay now let's check for the stability of the system so we already know the stability condition so what i'm going to put here instead of h of n so it will become summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity okay mod of cos n pi by 2 okay and this will be equal to what you know what this will give you infinity why i am saying this let me explain you so if you go for odd values of n if you keep the odd values of n so this expression will give you zero why let's take an example and understand suppose i am taking a value n is equal to 1 okay then this will become what cos pi by 2 and what is the value for this it is equal to what 0 am i right now let's take n is equal to 3 so what it will give you cos 3 pi by 2 right so this will be also equal to 0 so now this point is clear so for odd values of n this absolute value of cos n pi by 2 is equal to what 0 and when you go for even value of n this will give you what 1 you can take an example n is equal to 2 okay so this will give you what cos 2 pi by 2 means cos pi which is basically what mod of minus 1 which is basically what 1 if you want to check one more instance n is equal to 4 so cos 2 pi which will give you what basically 1 fine so for even values of n we are getting 1 and for odd values we are getting 0 but 1 is also present right infinite number of time so sum of infinite ones is what infinity only so that is why you are getting here infinity so if it is infinity then your system is what basically unstable system right your system is not stable boss it is unstable so basically we got to know here is in this example that the system is what non-causal as well as unstable also now let's go for the next example and try to understand the next example we'll cover four example in this lecture so each and everything will be clear to you fine now we have h of n is equal to e to the power 3n into u of n minus 2 now you should know about the behavior of u of n minus 2 so this u of n minus 2 will exist it will exist you know only for only for n greater than equal to 2 so if it exists only for n greater than equal to 2 then what so h of n will be what 0 automatically for which for n is smaller than 0 so if this condition is satisfied we have already covered right if this condition is satisfied so our system is what our system is causal system it is what causal system hope it is clear to you fine now let's move to the stability check so stability we know this condition this is the condition for stability so i'm going to evaluate this so it will become summation n is equal to minus infinity to plus infinity instead of h of n you have to keep e to the power 3n into u of n minus 2 we already know u of n minus 2 exists only for n greater than equal to 2 so change the limit it will exist only for n is equal to 2 to infinity and here it will be e to the power 3n because for this period u n minus 2 will give you 1 so 1 into this is this right so now sum so when you put n is equal to 2 it will become e to the power 6 plus n is equal to 3 it will become e to the power 9 
plus e to the power 12 and this will keep on going right so here also you will get infinity so if you got infinity it means what boss system is system is unstable it is an unstable system but causal in nature fine now let's go for the last example where y of n is equal to what cos x of n if you see the behavior of cos x of n this exists for what this exists for for n greater than minus infinity and smaller than infinity okay so in this case also h of n is not equal to 0 for n smaller than 0 means h of n will give some value for this right so the system is what so the system is again boss non-causal system it is what non-causal fine now let's check for the stability so for the stability this is the condition okay so let's go for the stability check before that it is not an impulse response right convert this into the impulse response so if you are talking about impulse response so if f x of n is equal to what del of n then the impulse response h of n will become what cos del of n cos del of n right hope it is clear to you now let's check for the and you should know about the del of n so del of n is what 1 when n is equal to 0 and 0 when n is not equal to 0 you should know this behavior also then it is easy for you to understand this problem so h of n is given as cos del of n so now let's check for the positive value of n negative value of n and for n is equal to 0 so suppose for n is equal to 0 for n is equal to 0 this will become what h of 0 is equal to cos del of 0 so cos del of 0 means at n is equal to 0 this will give you 1 so this becomes cos 1 which will give you 0 0.54 now for n is equal to 1 we'll check for n is equal to 1 for n is equal to 2 okay and we'll check for n is equal to minus 1 and we'll check for n is equal to minus 2 also we'll see the behavior of this so for n is equal to 1 h of 1 is what cos del of 1 see del of n is 0 when n is not equal to 0 and we are at what instant n is equal to 1 so this will go give you what 0 so this will become cos 0 which will give you 1 same for h of 2 so cos del of 2 which will give you what 0 so this becomes cos 0 again 1 now h of 3 so this becomes what cos del of minus 1 and here h of sorry h of minus 1 not 3 and h of minus 2 this will become cos del of minus 2 right and it is only this del of n function is only defined for n is equal to 0 so this will also give you 0 this will also give you 0 and if you keep on going you will get the same type of expression so this will become 1 cos of 0 this will become also 1 hope you got the pattern now so if you understood the pattern then it is it is more easy for you to tell whether it is stable or unstable it is unstable system right you have to keep on adding so if you start from minus infinity so it will be 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 like that right and at n is equal to 0 you will get what 0 0.54 and then you will again get 1 plus 1 plus 1 like this is it clear so overall you will get what infinity so if you got infinity boss then what is a system a system is unstable system unstable so in this case a system is non-causal as well as unstable hope it is clear to you fine so if you have any doubt in this you can ask in the comment section or if you feel like i have did any mistake in any of the concept whatever i taught till now you can reach out to me okay i will help you to explain that things 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एंड प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू अवर यूट्यूब चैनल